today's Red Dang top tips is on managing your freestall barn. Freestall barns come in all sorts of shapes and sizes with all sorts of equipment. The barns we're looking at and that we prefer are the plastic type strawling. As you can see, they bend very easily and uh, the, cows, the cows can't get hurt. The type of strawling also prevents, um, is, is brake proof if you've ever had any brake. Yeah, the main advantage is the cows don't get hurt. One of the maybe disadvantages is that cows can not, don't lie as straight as they would do in metal strawling. So those are that's something to consider, but we think the, the comfort and the safety of the cows is more important. Another aspect of this freestall barn is the neck rail that's, uh, that's movable and, and, and uh, it bends up like this as the cows stand up. So we've never had a cow injure its back or anything like that uh, in here. Um, the, obviously the measurements and everything are critical and uh, there are some standard measurements you can get um, off, off the internet or depending on the company, you, the type of equipment you use, I'd rather not give specifics uh, to actual measurements here. What is really important is that um, another aspect of, is the bedding that you use. So in this store, in this shed, we use the, the, the double foam rubber mattresses that are basically the top of the range of, of mattresses and uh, we find if your cows are going to be in the sheds for most of the year, you've got to go for the best mats you can get to avoid, to, to get your cows lying down. Cow, cow lying down time is, is directly correlated to their, their well-being, their digestion and therefore milk yield. So it's not something you want to take shortcuts on. We find adding a bit of a straw or sawdust over the top. Um, makes the cows more comfortable, uh, reduces the amount of rub wounds that you get on, on rubber mats. Um, that's, that, that's what we like about, about the rubber mats is they're very easy to clean. You can just sweep, the, sweep this off when it gets dirty and we do that sort of once or twice a day to make sure the cows are always lying on a clean place. Here's a good example of a cow lying correctly. She's nice and straight leaning a bit against the, the plastic stalling but not doing her not, not hurting herself but her, her rear is right over the end and, and when she dunes it will go in, into the passage. She's got a nice clean um, place for her udder and she looks very comfortable. Um, there are better systems than what we show here for what we call the, the breast rails. We've, we've got adjustable breast rails and systems that are easier for the cow to, to put her front leg forward. Um, while we talk about that in front of the cow, what is critical is that it's clear and there's plenty of space between the two cows so they have lunging space for when they get up. Um, this, 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 this space here is, is adequate. Uh, some people prefer it a, a bit more, but I definitely wouldn't go, go less than that. Um, uh, the other, in fact, talking on uh, going back to bedding, one of the things, one of the other options is obviously sand. And the truth is the cows prefer sand. The issue with sand is the management of them. You need a vast amount of sand every week to top up the beds. And once the sand is contaminated, uh, either dunged on or urinated on, it's, it's really difficult to clean out again, whereas a mat can, be, a mat can easily be, be scraped and cleaned. Obviously the water is very important, one of the advantages of this kind of small water trough is that we can tip it and we clean out these water troughs uh, two or three times a day. Um, you've got to have good flow though if you have the small type water troughs because if you've got four or five cows drinking here they'll empty this thing in no time at all. Uh, we like this, uh, this automated pass system which I can show you quickly. Here's an example of a cow drinking in the crossover passages. Um, there's, there is some space for her, uh, for other cows to get past her while she's drinking, but if she was standing straight, there might not be enough space. So you'd probably want them even wider. Uh, we use uh, mats on the crossover passages because it's a high traffic area. We found the floors get worn and rough quite quickly, uh, but you want to make sure you use a high quality mat with grip 
because it's a wet, a slippy area and otherwise the cows can hurt themselves. Also want to draw your attention to the floors. Very, very important that you get um, floors that have good grip but that are not aggressive on the cow's hooves. This floor would be bordering on aggressive but definitely not, not slipping. And what, what we did is we used this hexagonal shape. What's very important is the actual surface is smooth but you have the edges for the cows to, to get a hoof on to if, they, if they're slipping. So they tend to walk over the top of, of, of it uh, without getting hurt by the edges and this, this you'll, you'll definitely won't get any slipping on this floor here. Another very important thing to consider when building your free stall or managing it is your manure management. If not, you'll find yourself buried in, in manure within days. So what, there's a number of different options. Uh, you can, I have seen sheds with flush systems um, or you can get automatic scrapers from a number of different companies that come through every couple of hours. Um, or you just use a, a, a specially made up grader uh, on the back of a tractor, which is what we're doing. We, we grade this shed three times a day. It's almost due for its third scraping now. As you can see, the manure is not too bad. We have a system where we scrape it out the shed and into a pit. Then we also have, we have added water coming from the piler, and we then use the agitator, which is uh, mounted on the back of the tractor, that uh, agitates the whole mix to make sure it's homogenous so that you, um, each load is, is of similar, similar consistency and has a similar amount of manure and water in it. It's a valuable asset of manure. Used correctly, it can reduce your fertilizer consumption a lot. So another advantage or uh, reason to consider moving to, free, to a freestyle barn is the ability to harvest and collect all 